All right, let's go ahead and do lesson 49, uh, dividing by a decimal number. So we have a fraction right here, and we know that all fractions um, can be changed into division problems, top divided by bottom, Numer numerator divided by denominator. So what I'm going to do right here, but before I change this into a division problem, I want to uh, make this into an easier uh, division problem by multiplying top and bottom by 10, okay? If I multiply top and bottom of this problem by 10, um, which I have to do both, I can't just multiply top and then, or top and then not bottom. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top when you're multiplying and dividing. Um, I'm going to get, well, if I multiply 0.4 by 10, you guys remember from a previous lesson that anytime you multiply something by 10, it's the same as moving the decimal one place to the right. So this is going to be 4. And if I multiply the top by 10, now the decimal is going to be in between the 2 and the 4. So this is going to be 1.24. Okay? Now I'm going to now this is an easier division problem because I don't have a um, decimal in the divisor. I have a whole number as the divisor. So it's going to be top, which is 12.4 divided by bottom, which is 4. 4 will go into 12 how many times? 3 times. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract. All you're going to have left is 0. Um, then I'm going to bring 4 straight down. How many times will 4 go into 4? 1 time. 1 times 4 is 4, and there's going to be a remainder of 0. Then you move the decimal point straight up. So your answer for this is 12.4 divided by 4 is 3 and 1 tenth. Okay, um, if you want to check this, you can always take the quotient and multiply it by the divisor. All right, so let's go ahead, and you guys remember the problems like this where we had x over 6 equals 2. And if you wanted to find x, you just took 2 times 6, um, and we know that that's 12. So 12 divided by 6 is 2, that checks out. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take the quotient, multiply it by the divisor. 3.1 times 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Um, and then since I guess I don't need to cancel that out, because we don't have a two-digit um, number to multiply by here, um, you, you notice that the decimal point is one place over to the left there on top of the problem, so that means the decimal has to be moved one place to the left on bottom of on the bottom of the problem. So your answer is 12.4, which is whoop, exactly what we started with. Okay, so now that you know the background to um, enlarging these fractions by or decimal problem or division problems by multiplying by 10, let's I want to talk about the over over up method. So we'll go ahead, write down over over, up. Over, over, up. You'll hear me say that a bunch of times in this lesson. All right, so I want to change this. Instead of dividing by a decimal, I want to um, I want to divide by a whole number. So I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to put it over one place, basically multiplying it by 10. And I'm going to take this decimal and move it over one place, multiplying it by 10 as well. Then I'm going to move the decimal straight up. Over, over, up. Okay, now once I've moved the decimal, you're going to get an equivalent division problem, which is um, 14 and 4 tenths, 14 and 4 tenths, divided by 6. 6 will go into 14 2 times, 2 times 6 is 12, subtract, you're going to have a remainder 2, bring down your 4. 6 will go into 4, or 24, 4 times, 4 times 6 is 24. Subtract, zero. Now we went, we got to move the decimal straight up. Okay? So the answer to this is 2.4. We move the decimal over, over, got our new uh, division problem, and then we moved the decimal straight up. All right, let's do a couple more, and then I'll do some homework help. All right, here's another problem. Um, we have uh, 1 and 24 hundredths divided by 4 hundredths. All right, so we're going to change that to an equivalent division problem 
by multiplying top and bottom by 100. Okay? So the new one is going to be, if you multiply it by 100, then you're, the decimal is going to move two places, because whenever you multiply something by 100, the decimal moves two places to the right. So it's going to be 124. And if you multiply the top by 100, you've got to multiply the bottom by 100. You're going to move this two places over. And that's going to be 4. 124 divided by 4. Another way to look at it is, if you were to do it a division problem, it would be um, 1 and 24 hundredths divided by four hundredths. Now, I'm going to move the decimal point two places to the right here. So let's say over, over, and then decimal point up. And that's the over, over, up method. So now all we have is 124 divided by four. And that's exactly what this is. Top divided by bottom. 124 divided by four. Four will, can't go into one, so we're going to go four and go into twelve three times. Three times four is twelve. Subtract zero, bring down your four. Four will go into four one time. One times four is four, and no remainder. So, 31 is your answer, or quotient. Quotient, answer to a division problem. All right. Um, Let's do number two from the homework. Four-fifths of a dollar is how many cents? We know a dollar is a hundred pennies. So if you want to write a hundred right above your dollar, you can do that. Four-fifths. So this is four-fifths of one hundred. Okay, four-fifths of a dollar, which is one hundred. All right, so we know that of is what? Abstract multiply divide, it is multiply. So this is four-fifths times one hundred. Um, we used to do a little algorithm that um, I made up at the beginning of the year. 100 divided by the denominator, multiplied by the numerator. Now we know a different way. I want you guys to start doing it this way. Okay? Fraction multiplied by a whole number. Now we can't do it unless you know a trick, and that trick is put it over 1. Once you put it over 1, then you can do it. 4 times 100 is 400. We find our numerator. In order to find our denominator, we multiply the denominators. 5 times 1, 5. Then you do top divided by bottom. Okay? Or you can reduce. Either way, I'm going to do top divided by bottom. 400 divided by 5. 5 will go into 40 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract. 0. Bring down the 0. How many times will 5? Some people stop right here. Oh, the answer is 8. No. We have a blank spot right here. We have to figure out what goes in there. In order to find out what goes in there, you say 5 will go into 0, 0 times. 0 times 5 is 0. No remainder. So your answer to this problem is 80. 80 is 4 fifths of 100. So this will be 80 cents, I should write my label. $0.80. Cents. All right. Here's the algebra problem. I'm going to run through it really fast. I'm not really going to talk through it, but I'll let you guys... Actually, I'll talk through it. Why not? Uh, so we're going to have n minus 6 and 1 8 equals 4 and 3 8. Uh, start on the side with a variable, which in this case is the left-hand side. What's well, opposite subtraction? This is an important step that a lot of people miss. Opposite subtraction is addition. The reason I do the opposite is so that this will cancel out and I isolate my variable, which is n. Now, if I add 6 and 1 eighths to this side, I've got to add 6 and 1 eighths to this side. Okay? 3 eighths plus 1 eighth is 4 eighths, and 4 plus 6 is 10. Now, we know that 4 eighths reduces to 1 half, so your answer is going to be equal to 10 and 1 half. That's your answer. All right, number 19. How much is 40% of 25? All right, um... We know that the word of means multiply. That means I'm going to take 25 and find 40% of that number. Multiply, because of means multiply. All right, how do I do this? First step is I take the percent sign, erase it, and if I'm changing a percent to a decimal, that means you take the point and move it two places to the left. So this is really 41 hundredths times 25. 0 times 5, 0 times 2, I guess I can just put a placeholder 0. Skip the whole first step. Um, no point in adding in a line of zeros. 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is going to be 10. 
Okay. So then since the decimal point has been decimal placement, hard part. Actually, it's easy. You guys will get it. Since the decimal point has been moved two places to the left, on um, top of the problem, then I need to be, move it two places to the left on bottom of the problem. So ten dollars. Okay, this is twenty-five dollars. Ten dollars is forty percent of twenty-five. 